Hello YouTube people, I have bought another watch. What a surprise, right? This time I have bought this old beaten up Swatch watch. I have paid 15 euros for this watch and I bought it for two reasons. First of all, it's cheap and secondly, I like pilot style watches and this one looks a little bit like a pilot style watch. And in this video, using this watch, I will make a point that buying old beaten up swatch watch like this one is actually a lot, a lot better idea than buying any cheap watch from aliexpress because of the movement because of the crown action and because you just use some polishing paste to clean up this uh, plastic crystal and you get yourself a nice watch so let's take a better look i currently have three swatch watches uh, this one you have already seen it has incredible, very special looking blue dial. Absolutely love the looks of this watch. If you have not seen the review of this watch, I will put the link in the description. It looks amazing. It's just stunning looking watch. Now I have bought another, another chronograph as well. And I do like this one even more. Design wise, I wouldn't change a single thing on this watch. It looks absolutely perfect. And it is special in one way as well that buckle and the case are actually aluminum. And aluminum uh, or aluminum uh, looks a little bit different than stainless steel. Of course, this one is stainless steel, but shiny. This one is matte finish, but aluminum is kind of a little bit brighter, brighter shade. And especially this matte finish in dim lighting situations, it, it kind of it looks like it's a little bit glowing. It's, it's so crazy. It looks so special. It looks a lot different than stainless steel and kind of rare thing, to be honest. I never had aluminum case watch. Really looking forward to do a review on this beauty. Incredible looking watch. And today I will show you this one. Old beaten up watch. But let me show you exactly why this one is a lot better than any ultra cheap watch on Aliexpress. But before, let's take a quick look at this watch, how it looks on my wrist. Just a very quick shot. I'm not super excited about this watch, to be honest, but it doesn't mean it's a bad watch. It's still a lot better than those ultra cheap watches on Aliexpress. Now, what's the big deal? Well, first of all, Swatch watches like this one, it's solid stainless steel case. It has plenty of scratches, but that doesn't matter. It's a stainless steel case. And those ultra cheap watches are just, you know, <laughs> uh, they are just alloys. So very important thing is actually the crown action for me personally. Let's take this very bad example. And for example, setting up the time on ultra cheap watch is just a nightmare. Crown is super sensitive, minute hand is very jumpy and when you press in, for example, at 45 minutes, the minute hand jumps. That's just super annoying and they generally feel like just very, very cheap, it's just very nasty. And you take this very old beaten up swatch watch and it still feels absolutely wonderful. The crown ratio, how much do I need to turn the crown to move? Minute hand is very big. It's minute hand is not sensitive at all. And now look what happens when I push the crown in on 45 minutes. It stays in place. It doesn't move. That is just wonderful. Oh my God. It's so refreshing. Finally playing, playing with a good watch after those ultra cheap nasty watches. And on this one specifically, I really like the integration of this date window. I usually don't like this position of date window, but it somewhat looks pretty nice. I like this little red circle around it. And I do like how swatch watches uh, rotate the date. They do not engage uh, the date rotation until midnight. Look, midnight is still showing 16 and only when you are probably already sleeping, it rotates the date. So I really like that functionality of sw on swatch watches. And overall, the crown action is just look, I do need to apply some force on a watch to actually move it. Where on this cheap, nasty, fantastic watch, it's just, it's completely loose. It's completely loose. 
So the quality difference is just immeasurable. It's another world. You have a lot better chance getting good used old uh, watch like this watch watch than trying your luck on AliExpress with those ultra cheap shitter watches. So that's that's all my point I wanted to make in this video. It's kind of obvious, but still, I just I just have to tell you something while showcasing this watch, right? Don't I? <laughs> anyway, where does this watch go on my tier list? ThomasWatchRevues.com. It goes into not bad. It's a not bad watch. Look, even seconds hand hits the markers. That's nice. Not not exactly accurate, but. It tries its best, obviously. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.